Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Shoma. Today we're going to be doing a really quick video on how to start your wellness journey. So, if you guys know me personally, you know I've been on a wellness journey for quite a while. Um, and I just find like wellness means to be so essential to everyday life because life is chaotic. Like, I just feel like every day there's some form of chaos. And if you don't have a wellness routine, I just don't know how you're surviving because until I don't know, like, I just don't know how you're surviving. So some people talk about wellness and they don't know where to start. Um, so I just wanted to share a few tips on how to actually start your wellness journey if you are a beginner. So hopefully this video is helpful to you. Um, click like, subscribe, <laughs> comment, share, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in this video. Hey guys, so my first tip, I wrote everything down. So if you see me looking down, looking at my notes. Um, the first tip is to write out a plan. I think when it comes to wellness, you wanna be really clear about what goals you wanna achieve. And I think the best way to do that is to write it down on paper. So for me, if you follow me on Instagram, I am currently on a weight loss journey. So I've documented the goals that I wanna achieve in a specific amount of time. Um, and I think doing this is the first step, really writing out on paper what you want to accomplish. If you see it on paper or in your iPad or wherever you can take notes, it just makes it easier to create goals, sorry, excuse me, action plans to actually achieve the, achieve the goals. So once you write out your goals on paper, the next step is to write out three or four action items that you can actually tackle to achieve those goals. And when you do that, I promise you, like it'll make your goals so much easier. Um, so that's the first step. Second step is to grab an accountability partner. So I think that when it comes to wellness, motivation is so important because it is a journey. You're, you may, when you start, you may not feel that inspired. So I think having someone that you trust to be your accountability partner, whether it's a family member, a significant other, a best friend, someone who can motivate you and keep you on track. That's the second thing. I know for me, my family, my parents are my number one cheerleaders. They have kept me um, on my wellness journey um, throughout the entire process. So um, that has worked for me. So definitely get someone on board as you are starting this process. Um, number three, number three is to track your progress. So um, this is really important because it'll keep you on track. It'll keep you, it'll also keep you motivated. And it's also inspiring to document your journey. Like I said, I'm on a weight loss journey and I've currently been documenting my entire process on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will see my weight loss process. And it's, it's interesting because in the beginning, when you're starting a wellness journey, whether you're tackling physical goals, mental goals, emotional goals, whatever your goals are, you may not see like immediate results, but it's really cool to see over time as you continue on your journey, how far you'll come. And it's be really great to look back and say, oh wow, I remember when I first started and I was still a little, when I was still a beginner, and now I'm so much better. So track your progress. You can do that on Instagram, you can do it in the journal. You know, journaling your progress is also, if, it's, if you're private or if you wanna keep it to yourself, you know, a journal also works as well. I'm using Instagram, uh, so I don't mind sharing. The next step is to cut out the negativity. So when it comes to your wellness, like, you're gonna have to be extremely selfish during this process. And it's really important that you create a really safe, positive, Space for you to start the to start your journey so cut out negativity whether it is people you know um, I don't know people I feel like people is like the number one for me um, people or just like anything that would dampen your mood um, you want to up you know you definitely want to increase um, positive thoughts positive quotes positive music anything that will keep you motivated and really be selfish about staying on track and staying in a positive state of mind so whether it's unfollowing pages that make you feel bad on instagram or social in other forms of social media cutting off toxic people changing your environment maybe moving to another environment that's better for you this is really important because you have to guard your space throughout your wellness journey it's your job to protect yourself as you are embark embarking on this journey um, so cutting out the negativity is 
so important and do not feel bad I have a video on how to overcome self-care guilt so watch that if you ever if you struggle with saying no or people pleasing or just not being able to set boundaries watch that video and <laughs> do not feel guilty about this and my last tip is to establish a routine so one thing I've learned about wellness is that it has to be embedded in your everyday routine. It cannot be something, it's not an emergency contact. That's something I saw on Instagram. Like, it's not an emergency contact. You have to have a routine, whether it's in the morning or in the evening. You have to have dedicated time every single day to your wellness or else it'll slip. So write out a routine that works for you. And it doesn't have to be elaborate. It doesn't have to be like super fancy like all these influencers on instagram no it could be very very simple um i'm happy to share my wellness routine if you are interested in it so if you are let me know down below but yes create a routine that works for you that works for your schedule i'm really i, I think i'm a lot of my followers are professionals young professionals so if you work nine to five like if it's like 20 minutes in the morning before you head out to work or 30 minutes in the evening before you go to sleep just create a routine that tackles all the different areas of wellness that are most important or most critical to you so physical mental emotional uh, spiritual whatever is important to you create a, create a routine around those um, values um, and those are my tips on how to start a wellness journey not hard at all you know we are all in this process together i'm it's been about a couple it's been a, it's been a while since i've been on this journey but i learn something new every single day and i'm so passionate about the subject matter so you will be seeing more content from me and i will be documenting my journey so thank you again guys for all the support thank you for following my channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye there is no one better to be than myself. There's no one better to be than myself. Today is gonna be an amazing hey. day. Today is gonna be an amazing day. Mm -hmm. Feelings matter. My feelings matter. Today's gonna be an amazing day. Man, they here to play y'all. They be strong. Hey. Be great. Hey. It's okay to make a mistake. Hey. Be happy. Be glad. Don't let nothing make you sad. Hey. Hey! Be positive, be happy, hey. be 